Hey everyone, today I will share with you ways or tips on how to speed up your note-taking game and on how you can take notes if you're kinda lazy as of the moment. And yes, let's get right into it. First tip is to go for digital note-taking. If you want to maximize your time taking notes, do digital note-taking. As we all know, taking notes by hand not only causes our hands to be tired, but it does take time and effort. There are a lot of note-taking apps, but what I highly suggest is OneNote. I have a video of how I used this app in my note-taking process, but the other apps you can use is MS Word, Google Docs, GoodNotes, or other apps, depending on your preference. Doing notes using your iPad or laptop will help you transfer notes from your professor's PowerPoint or lectures in just a few clicks. And this brings us to our next tip, which is to use templates for your notes. If you don't know yet, I have a bunch of Google Docs and MS Notes templates you can use for school, and I have tutorials and free templates included in those videos. You can check out my note-taking playlist up here. Using templates save you time and will help you achieve aesthetic notes. You can easily place important terms and definitions and will still achieve cohesiveness. After this, you can easily print them on your printer, or if you're on the go, you can use this thermal printer, which is their M08F thermal printer. This is a portable multifunctional thermal printer, which is easy and quick to use. You can use Bluetooth wireless connection if your file is on your phone, or you can use the wire included in the package and connect it to your laptop. It also has high quality printing and since it is thermal, the printing result can only have a black color. Nevertheless, it perfectly works on those simple black and white documents or photos. The M08F printer can print PDF, Word, images, and web. This can help you print your study materials and work documents on the go. This is very compact lightweight and aesthetically pleasing and it comes in three different colors you can easily pop it into your bag and bring it to school again it supports bluetooth connection and to do it go to the fomemo app you can download this one from the app store or google play connect your device to the printer open your file add some paper to the printer and you can now print your notes and let's try this one out so i will be printing the notes that i created As you can see, it is clear and it is identical with what you can see on your file. And now let's try to print a photo. Again, it works perfectly and it does copy even the finest details. So if you're too lazy to set up your printer and you want easy access to a physical copy of your digital notes, then I recommend this thermal printer. And now let's proceed to the third tip. So if you're kind of lazy, you can directly copy and paste text from your teacher's PowerPoint to your notes. If it is a PowerPoint, you can use the Outline view, go to the View tab, and click the Outline option. You will then see here on the side the texts included in the PowerPoint. This is a faster method to transfer notes, but if your teacher provided a PDF, you could directly copy it once it is opened on your browser, but other PDFs do not allow you to do this, so what you can do instead is to apply an OCR feature. You can do this using the PDF Element app or look for a website on the net. So I saw this website which offers the OCR feature and it does work perfectly. I will just link it below. And moving to the fourth tip, you still need to be mindful of what information you will be adding to your notes. Take down the important notes only. If there are parts where you confidently know the definitions, you don't need to be very detailed in your notes. You can use keywords that will make your notes simple, minimalist, and easier to read. Refrain from copying the entire PowerPoint to your notes. You can first go through or glance at the PowerPoint presentation or a module and take note in your mind what parts of the presentation you will be adding to your notes. Fifth, so I got this idea from another video and that is to utilize images on your notes that can explain a paragraph or two of a specific topic. For example, 
instead of listing down explanation of Maslow's hierarchy, you can just use this pyramid photo of the same topic. And as you can see, it is much more organized and it is summarized, which can help you and boost your motivation when you study. This will also save you time, so instead of transferring the entire information from the PowerPoint, you can just use a photo for a summarized version. The next step is to use the voice typing tool from Google Docs. If you cannot copy your notes directly from the learning materials provided and you don't like typing, then you can use the voice typing feature. You just need headphones and just clearly dictate the words so the computer can quickly determine and spell them out. Once done, you can apply bullets or periods to separate the thoughts or ideas. And lastly, if your notes are from a textbook and you want to easily take notes, but again, yes, you're lazy at the moment, you can instead scan the page. You can use the scanner from your notes app or use the other scanning apps. After you scan it, save or export it as a PDF. Transfer the file to your computer and apply the OCR feature to it. You can then easily copy and paste the important information to your notes. And yes, that is all. Thank you so much guys for watching and see you on my next video. Bye guys!